Well, I'm now trying to record outdoor in a very yeah, medium windy um, uh, environment. I'm using the road system, the Video Mic Pro Plus. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, I get some birds and stuff in the uh, in the video mic. But uh, I bring it in and uh, we take it from there. I found a fairly windy spot uh, on the property to check out the dead cat. And that's what uh, is on the mic now. And I hope it's working. Hello again. Um, today we're gonna explore uh, a little bit in a quite different direction because uh, we are talking about using a more professional microphone system which is called the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Uh, this is a piece of kit that uh, a lot of people buy because they find it very fascinating with the um, with the suspension and things like that. Uh, but there is a little bit more to it. I have to say that this is probably not the right choice for uh, guys that don't have a little bit of insight. I'm running uh, a camera behind me now, probably um, it's going to be visible in the corner and uh, that's a new thing, so let's uh, check it out and have some fun together. Um, I did try this mic in a few different occasions uh, and uh, the, the video I'm showing today is made in several stages. Uh, the first part where the birds is uh, in conjunction with the first talk is done uh, on one day. The windy part that kind of falls is uh, done the next day and I tell you it was really windy and uh, I bought this uh, piece of kit that's called a dead cat. I can guarantee you this is a dead one. So, um, well, it, the, the setup of this unit is uh, straightforward. It's just clip it on the camera and, uh, and go. Uh, we did try that in uh, the camera's automatic setting. And uh, I really, <laughs> it doesn't work that well. Uh, outdoors uh, with that kind of uh, easy attempt uh, you have to go further into it and more deeply into your camera system and uh, set the mic properly up because uh, this is when I'm talking like this it's a perfect uh, cool mic uh, it does what it's supposed to do I guess even in uh, in uh, automatic but uh, I don't use it in automatic and there is a reason for that and it's a very 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 good reason you have the opportunity to utilize two tracks uh, in the camera and that is and those tracks record with different levels meaning that if you're uh, Let's say you're on an uh, air show or something like that and uh, there's a really loud machine taking off close to you and it's overdriving your microphone system. Then you have the second channel which is recording simultaneously at a lower level. So uh, you have a good chance that you can save the, um, the take without going in and uh, manipulate uh, the audio to a degree that in my book is not especially nice. You can fix it but it's, uh, it's not a feasible way to go and uh, 
Uh, it's uh, set on the back side of the mic. You, you press a color uh, the power button and the, um, and the cut button simultaneously. Then you get two outputs from the mic. Uh, it's a genius system. Uh, don't know any other mic that has this uh, opportunity. It's brilliant. Uh, but but there is a big but. You have to be able to split those tracks uh, in post-production. And uh, when I finish talking about the mic, I think we have to talk a little bit about how you mix this. Because it's a completely different thing when you have takes from different days. Uh, you have a, probably a little different voice, uh, the levels may be a little different. All of these things is uh, things you have to address in post. You separate from two different ways of working. It's pre-production, that's, that's the thing you're doing when you're filming and uh, when you're yeah, doing all the preparations pre-production. And then you have the post-production. They're both equally important. Uh, the pre-production bit is uh, deciding how good the post-production bit is going to be. Because shit in is shit out. Uh, it's as plain as that. So uh, that goes in my world of uh, sound and I guess probably also in the picture and the, the life of the the filmmakers uh, have the same attitude I guess I need a little coffee now cheers still um, I did buy a fairly expensive editing program and that's mainly because in this program I can directly split the audio tracks. So uh, it's not mainly because that, uh, it's part of the reason and uh, I'm in the learning curve now and trying to learn it and uh, the audio system is uh, developed by Fairlight which is a part of the Da Vinci Blackmagic uh, community, so I'm quite excited about learning this new things. Uh, this, uh, I added some pictures, you can see the mic and uh, things like that, and if you're interested, this is not a... Um, this is not a mic for everyone, I have to say, but for those of you who really like experimenting with um, with outdoors and uh, things like that, it's a perfect choice. And for voiceover, it's very good, I found. So uh, it's definitely a good mic. Uh, and uh, it's a little bit like it records what you point and shoot. Because it has a very good sound rejection from uh, this backside of the mic, so. But I would absolutely recommend uh, to put the mic on a mic stand, um, because uh, the camera noises is uh, I I don't mean noises from the camera itself, but you click and clack and you do a lot of. Sh sneeze a little bit and you do a lot of shit when you record to completely avoid that get a longer cable and uh, uh, use a stand just remember to <laughs> to move the mic a little bit uh, between the shots to point in the, in the direction you're shooting this is why it's a little bit difficult for um, the average people to use because you have to be aware of it you have to include the microphone in your thinking so uh, I would say probably 70-80% of uh, people are better off just using the camera mic system or buy a little 
something to put on top if it's not good enough. The problem I found in this camera is a quite good system actually, and you can in the menu do a few things like wind noise and things like that. Wind noise is the main enemy you have outside. That's why I got acquired a dead cat uh, for outdoor use. I don't think the the claim is sufficient. Uh, the included uh, pop filter or screen, but in my opinion, it's not quite there. Uh, it's okay when uh, the camera is stationary and you do, let's say. Uh, uh, barbecue in a very nice quiet environment uh, I'm, I'm wind I'm talking about not the people then it's probably sufficient it will do a good job uh, so will the camera mic um, but when you're starting to be more uh, do more uh, experimental stuff to be a little bit more uh, active with the camera and do stuff you probably don't want to use uh, the camera mic, you want to use a more directive system, this is uh, partly a shotgun, it's not completely a shotgun, uh, fortunately I can't uh, stand it when you have to point the mic all the time, then you need to be two people uh, uh, on the job and um, that's not really a feasible idea and uh, because you want to bring the camera with you and you want to have some fun and this is a nice option to have. Uh, I'm not very experienced with the camera work so for me it's more, I'm more concerned about the sound. But uh, the more I do the camera work the more interest I get and uh, I have to say it's really been fun to learn something new for me. So. Uh, well, uh, let's conclude this uh, mic review of a kind, uh, and uh, I, the next part of this video is going to be more about the production. I have to move the camera a little bit, and I have to think a little bit about how I'm going to do this. So, uh, one more thing, uh, all of the stuff I'm talking about is my own stuff. Nobody bought anything or sponsored me or done anything like this. So, so I'm talking from my experience only. So if other people have other experiences and uh, does it differently, it's up to them. For me, it's important to share these uh, things because I think a lot of people buy and do stuff based on what they see and hear and uh, from people that are not actually pros. Uh, I admit at once I cannot call myself a professional uh, in the world of video and editing videos and things like that. I'm trying to learn. Uh, hopefully I'm getting better at it and um, you will see the progression along the way and so till the next chapter is it called grab your mic and have fun i mean what can you do